What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're finally back in the shop for another in the shop video. We've been traveling all over the country, bunch of tournaments, ICAST, got a whole string of tournaments up north done through the month of June, ICAST in July. Just been a busy couple months, so we haven't done any in the shop videos, but we're back. And today we're gonna to talk about the free rig and going with the free rig is this new product right here from Epic Tungsten. This is their tie-on drop shot weight. So the reason it's called a tie-on drop shot weight is it's the same teardrop style drop shot weight that you always see me use, but the swivel in it is reversed. So rather than the line grip swivel, they have the other end of the swivel, the circle end of the swivel exposed. So you can actually tie a knot. You can tie your improved clinch, your palomar, whatever knot you want to tie. And it cinches down on that weight. So then it doesn't slip off when a fish jumps or whatever. So you're able to save your weights a lot more. This works especially good with the heavier ones. You know, when you get up to those half, three quarter ounce weights, um, when throwing that light line on a drop shot, a lot of time the line just pulls right through the line grip swivel. So these tie on weights are going to save you weights from you're going to save yourself from losing weights also they're going to double as a free rig weight which if you guys aren't familiar with the free rig we're going to dive into that here today it's one of the newest techniques that's kind of hitting the bass fishing market over the last i'd say the last couple years it's been but it's gaining a lot of popularity here recently and uh, we're going to dive into uh, how to set it up with this weight hooks line rod reel baits how to fish it that kind of stuff but like I mentioned, this right here, these are the Epic Tungsten tie-on drop shot weights. They're available right now at fishusa.com. It's the only place you can get them right now. So Fish USA got an early shipment of them. So if you guys want to get some of these for the summer drop shotting and free rigging, Fish USA is your place to get it. So let's jump in and talk about the free rig. All right, so what is the free rig? Um, it's kind of a unique technique right here. Like I mentioned, first up, it starts with a weight that has a hook or a circle on the top, like this tie on drop shot weight here. And it allows that weight to freely slide on the line like that. Then once you slide that on there, basically you take a a smaller type hook. So this is more of a finesse approach. So I got a smaller hook right here. This is the Trocar TK100 worm hook in the one-aught size. So it's a pretty small hook. Uh, you don't want a real big heavy hook because that's going to impede the action of your bait. So the, the idea behind this free rig is as you can see the weight slides freely up and down your line. So whenever you make a cast all right, we're gonna just say my bait hits the water right here. See that weight goes flying down first and it's gonna hit the bottom. And then your bait is gonna slowly fall down behind it. So if you have a big heavy hook, it's gonna impede that action and it's gonna make it to sink faster or just not have that natural flow and action of the bait. Um, so real important to have that real small hook. As far as line, I like to throw it on 15 pound. This is Seaguar Tatsu fluorocarbon. I like. This set up here with a 3 a ounce weight, this basically kind of replaces my Carolina rig fishing. You know, there's still a time and a place for a Carolina rig, but this is uh, very similar to how you fish a, a Carolina rig, just a little more finesse. So this has kind of replaced my, my summertime Carolina rig fishing here lately. Um, I throw it on a seven foot six heavy action rod. You know, I got 15 pound line, so I can use a, a pretty heavy rod and uh, handles those fish well and, and basically you just want any sensitive rod anything that you would throw a jig or a Carolina rig on something like that um, you just want to be careful and make sure you don't use too stout of a rod with the hook that you choose and, and straighten that out but this rod here perfectly handles these these Trocar TK100 hooks and uh, this is an excellent setup for the free rig so like I mentioned you want to go with a very natural looking bait so right here I have the Yamamoto Flappin' Hog. This is the smaller version of the Flappin' Hog. This is the Green Pumpkin Magic Keller. That's one of my favorite colors for, for these finesse type approaches because as this bait's just kind of gliding down, the sun catches some of those silver flake in that Green Pumpkin Magic Keller and it just triggers bites as it's falling. So I like to use a real natural bait. You know, I don't want to use a bait that has a 
a bunch of action. You know, for instance, I don't want to use a bait like this right here, like the Yamacraw, because those big flappers are going to totally control the fall of that bait and control the action of that bait. You want this to, to fall very erratic and very natural looking and just kind of glide around in the water. And that's why it's an excellent finesse approach. So this right here, that is basically a rigged up, ready to cast free rig. Right there, I got the, the flapping hog on there. And as we talked about earlier, when you cast and your weight hits the water, it's gonna sink first and your bait is gonna kinda slowly follow it all the way down to the bottom. And then once you're on the bottom, you know, you're, you're uh, going to pull your bait tight with the weight and it's going to kind of bounce around and then it acts almost sort of like a wobble head as you're, you're working it. So that this weight is ticking on the bottom and your bait's kind of following it, dancing around to the bottom. But if you pause it or if you're in current or something, your bait can pull away from your weight. So it's just a very natural looking approach and uh, it catches a lot of fish. I know a lot of people have been catching some big smallmouth on this over the last few years. It's kind of really hasn't been talked about. So we're kind of releasing some juice right here about the free rig that it, it flat out catches some fish. And if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend trying the free rig this summer and fall. It's a little bit different technique than, than anything we've seen. You know, it's kind of similar to a just an old fashioned Texas rig without the weight pegged, but that teardrop style drop shot weight or free rig weight gives it a totally different action on the fall because this falls like this. Whereas if you had your regular bullet weight, it kind of pulls the line down with it and it just sinks totally different, it has a totally different fall and action. Um, that still has a great time and place. You know, the, the free rig is not for everything. So this right here is not going to be really good in grass just because it's going to get tangled up in grass and, uh, you know, it's going to catch a bunch of grass, not swim through the grass very well. So free rig doesn't really excel in grass, but anytime you've got rock or gravel or even a little bit of wood, you can pitch this into trees and get a real natural presentation, stuff like that. That's when the free rig is going to shine and it's going to put a bunch of fish in your boat. So like I mentioned, you have to use a weight just like this. This is the Epic Tungsten tie-on drop shot weight. This is the 3A size, but they have a variety of sizes, whatever you, you may use from eighth all the way up to three quarters. So if you want to get some big heavy weights for out fishing out deep or some real light stuff, you could even throw this on a spinning rod with lighter line and I really mess around. You know, there's no limits to the free rig. It's pretty endless what you can do with as far as the weight, the size of, of hook and bait. You know, another option, if uh, the maybe the flapping hog is too much for you and uh, you wanna try something different, you can just put an old fashioned tube on there. So, you can take a tube just like this. This is basically how my dad grew up teaching me how to fish right here. You just take this tube and rig it up like so. And it's just going to fall so natural and just look so alive following this free rig as it floats around. And, and it just imitates so many different forages very well. So that right there. Another option for a great bait on a free rig. Really, it's endless. Like I mentioned, you just don't want to do something with a lot of action. It's more for your gliding type baits that, that don't really have any flappers or anything like that. You know, even just a, a Senko on the back of there would, would be just fine and, and really get down there and do well. But like I mentioned, the free rig, it's becoming so popular here lately. You're going to want to make sure you try it out and hopefully catch a few more fish with it. That's what the goal of this channel is. I love helping you guys catch fish. So hopefully today's video did that. Hopefully you learned something. 
drop them down in the comments below. I'd love to know if you've, if you've used the free rig before or what your thoughts on it are. Let me know what, uh, if I missed anything. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it and uh, always learning. So if you guys have any tips or tricks on it, drop them down in the comments below. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.